Our service begins with the bidding prayer and the lighting of the Advent candle. We light a fourth candle to remind us that visions and angels may still light our way. All of our waiting is a waiting for God. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Almighty God, to you all hearts are open, all desires known, and from you no secrets are hid. Cleanse the thoughts of our hearts by the inspiration of your Holy Spirit, that we may perfectly love you and worthily magnify your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Lord, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. The Lord be with you. And, also with you. and let us pray. Purify our conscience, Almighty God, by your daily visitation, that your Son, Jesus Christ, at his coming, may find in us a mansion prepared for himself, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. You may be seated for the readings. The first reading is from the book of Micah. You, O Bethlehem of Ephrathah, who are one of the little clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me, one is to rule in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient days. Therefore he shall give them up until the time when she who is in labor has brought forth. Then the rest of his kindred shall return to the people of Israel, and he shall stand and feed his flock in the strength of the Lord, in the majesty of the name of the Lord his God. And they shall live secure, for now he shall be great to the ends of the earth, and he shall be the one of peace. The word of the Lord. Let us read together the Song of Mary, Canticle 3. My soul doth magnify the Lord, and my spirit hath rejoiced in God my Savior, for he has regarded the lowliness of his handmaid. For behold, from henceforth all generations shall call me blessed. And his mercy is on them that fill him through all generations. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. And exalted the humble and meek. And the rich he has sent empty away. He remembered his mercy, hath hope in his servant Israel. As he promised to our forefathers, Abraham and his seed forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as was in beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The second reading is from the book of Hebrews. When Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifices and offerings you have not desired but a body you have prepared for me. In burnt offering and sin offerings, you have taken no pleasure. Then I said, See, God, I have come to do your work, O God, in the scroll of the book that is written for me. When he said above, 
you have neither desired nor taken pleasure in sacrifices and offerings and burnt offerings and sin offerings, those are offered according to the law. Then he added, see, I have come to do your will. He abolishes the first in order to establish the second. And it is by God's will that we have been sanctified through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once and for all. The word of the Lord. the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. In those days Mary set out and went with haste to a Judean town in the hill country where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting the child leaped in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit and exclaimed with a loud cry, blessed are you among women and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And why has this happened to me, that the mother of my Lord comes to me? For as soon as I heard the sound of your greeting, the child in my womb leaped for joy. And blessed is she who believed that there would be a fulfillment of what was spoken to her by the Lord. Mary said, My soul magnifies the Lord, and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. For he has looked with favor on the lowliness of his servant. Surely from now on all generations will call me blessed, for the Mighty One has done great things for me, and holy is his name. His mercy is for those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm. He has scattered the proud in the thoughts of their hearts. 
He has brought down the powerful from their thrones and lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy, according to the promise he made to our ancestors, to Abraham and to his descendants forever. The word of the Lord. Praise Praise to you, Lord Christ. Christ. 